Alrighty, it's been a long time between videos for this car. This is, if you were following the videos whew, three months ago or whenever, um, that's the write-off. The repairable write-off I bought and have built and have been waiting an unholy amount of time to get a booking, to get it seen to, but that is this Thursday coming. So. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> My word, that's been a long wait. Um, bit of a wrap up. This has been repaired and whatnotted and all that stuff. If you looked at the other videos, you'll know. But since then, I've done a few things that it probably didn't need, but it was going to get anyway. So it's just been to the mechanics and had uh, the whole front end suspension rebuilt, new ball joints, upper and lower, sway bar links, all that all that good stuff, uh, oil change, filters, uh, even had the diff oil change, how about that? So, uh, later on tonight when it gets a bit dark I've got to just turn this car around, aim it against the roll door and aim the headlights because when I drove it back on a permit the other day, I was looking pretty close at the ground pretty thoroughly. Did a few modifications, well not modifications to this car but a few things that make it a bit better. I put a new, well, not a new steering wheel, but I got a good, good second-hand steering wheel. Yeah. I changed the gear stick, which um, this particular series of Falcons, that sort of satin chrome, just can't handle the heat. So those gear selector surrounds and the handles in any part of the car that's got that satin chrome, except for the dashboards for some reason, all seem to peel up and look crappy after a while so I try and avoid getting these cars in the sun uh, so I changed those, changed the steering wheel uh, also one of the things I did that this is a BF Falcon as in BF for Freddy not a BA which is the, the shape to the untrained the cars look identical but there are slight upgrades they're not a lot by the way um, trim and whatnot and above the bars but on the BF they changed the armrests in the door trims on the BF this insert where your screws are hidden comes up to about here and has that satin chrome on it that those have and these peel up and whereas those are easy to get getting some of those that aren't stuffed is near impossible so I did the modification to this car and I put the B series BA um, armrests on these BF door trims which have this grey insert uh, which don't peel up at all and are a little bit narrower just here on the plastic you only the keen observer will notice that um, but that stops me ever having to worry about the armrest peeling up um, and I put a new handle there which was broken changed that which was that which was broken it had a lot of wear and tear really um, so yeah, that's a little bit of a wrap up. I have stopped counting of what this car owes me. I, I don't know, I built it for me, I didn't really care what it cost. That's why all the parts that went on the front were new. Not to mention new, but made it a lot easier to get th get its inspections done, which means I don't need VIN numbers for every single part. It's one of the things I would have suggested earlier on, is... Um, use as many new parts as possible because it saves a lot of hassle yeah so that's where this car is at drives mint on Tuesday it has a wheel on it Wednesday, uh, Thursday it goes in for the inspection and I really like hope this is done by then and I can actually use it while I'm doing the video you'll notice that it's raining which is fantastic but if you see over there that's me EJ Walk across the landmine field yard. This is the <laughs> this is another project just lingering in the background. This is a ah oh, I'm gonna restore it one day. I will, I swear. Got so many parts of the workshop, some of these are at home. Oh, I, I saved this car from a field of um, well if one of the videos I have it I did is a uh, collage of um, old Holdens that are up in a yard in Eurypta in South Australia. 
And this is one of the cars I saved from there. I do have most of it. Still missing a few odds and ends. But it's not... I mean, it is a high priority to get it done, but... Um, the next thing that's going to happen rapidly is going to be the XB. Then the XY Ute. In amongst that, doing 50 different customer cars. Uh, and then this. Now this is actually going to be the missus's car. It'll probably end up being bright pink, I would imagine. She's a Holden fan. I'm actually a Ford fan. Yet my first car was an EJ, which I saved from a wrecking yard. I bought when I was 16. So I have a unnatural love for the old Holdens. And hidden away in the shed. If I can open the door one handed. Is the mighty Landau, which is my brother's car, not mine. I wouldn't own a Landau. Because to me they're not my thing. I'll have an I've had plenty of XB coupes and that, but the Landau, which is the LTD version, is not my thing. Um but slowly piecing this back together, the dash has been in, the air, 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 air box is in, we put new carpets in it not that long ago. Ah, still needs a ton of work, but because it's not my car, it has to be funded by someone else, so it's sort of going when there is money put into it. See, there's the seats for the EJ. Well, they're actually EH seats, but the seats are the same, just different trim on them. But yeah, you wouldn't think this was painted in a without a spray booth. It's not bad. And as far as looking straight as a die, I'd say that's pretty good. Especially if you saw how bad this car once was. But yeah, I thought I'd give everybody a bit of an update on things. Mainly it was to catch up on the uh, BF Ute. And then obviously I've been meaning to do a little video on the EJ which is just hiding. One day I'll get there. Joys of being a one man show. And doing the same thing for a living. Well, there she blows. It's turned out alright. I've been very happy with it. <sighs> Thanks for watching. I this is probably the only video I'll do this weekend. I tend to avoid them on the weekend because I try and do nothing. Because I do have a three-month-old and she's likes the attention, <laughs> as anybody with kids would know. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to build this channel, so it requires you guys to subscribe. Subscribe, damn it. Thank you.